to ABC 7 at 6. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Eric Elkin. A 13-year-old El Paso boy is recovering at this hour after a mass was removed from inside his brain this morning. The four-hour surgery was done by a pioneering pediatric neurosurgeon using equipment that is found here in El Paso and on the International Space Station. ABC 7's Will Heron was inside the operating room at El Paso Children's Hospital where it all happened, and he spoke with the world-renowned surgeon as he tried to save the boy's life. Oh my God, my heart just dropped. This just hurts. This is Nancy Dorado's son being wheeled into the operation room. About a year ago, he complained about seeing double vision out of one of his eyes. After glasses didn't fix the problem, an MRI found a mass in his brain. Though terrified, she has complete faith in her son's surgeon. My son is in good hands. That's how I feel. Those hands are of Dr. David Jimenez, Medical Director of Pediatric Surgery at El Paso's Children's Hospital. He has successfully done this type of surgery on 200 children this year alone. He has a tumor or mass that is growing in a very critical area of his brain, very deep inside. It's very dark, very difficult to get to. Today, Dr. Jimenez is going to use a new piece of equipment that has never been used in the borderland. The MODIS-5 uses preloaded MRI images of brain nerve tracks and satellite GPS to navigate. We can use special glasses and see in three dimension inside and it can zoom in to a level that we couldn't almost see before. Before this equipment arrived, the doctors would have to stop what they were doing and look through a microscope. Now they just glance up at a monitor. Dr. Jimenez has made El Paso a world-class place to go for pediatric neurosurgery. I mean, since my arrival last year, we've had patients coming from all over the world. Will Heron, ABC7.